What different results would you expect from living out these two statements? Let's say you believe seeking happiness displeases God. You say God wants only our holiness, not our happiness. Equivalent statements to that, virtually identical statements to that, appear thousands and thousands of times on the internet. If you, if you look up, uh, God doesn't want you to be happy. Just, just look that up. Put it in quotes so you got the exact... And you'll just see it. It appears a number of times. And in, in virtually every case, it's, it's in a sermon from an evangelical pastor, or it's in a book from an evangelical writer. God doesn't want us happy. And then often, it'll, in contrast, it will say, what God wants is for us to be holy. Okay, now, suppose you live that way and you think that way versus this statement. What if you said or believed instead God wants us to seek happiness in Him? Jesus went to the cross to bring us eternal happiness and a present gladness that sustains us through life's toughest times. Do you see the radical difference between those two and how how they and how they would affect your worldview it is radical if you really believe that god doesn't want you happy and again that statement is repeatedly made i document dozens and dozens and dozens of cases in sermons and books um, you know where that statement is made by evangelicals if you really believe that then you believe God, your father, does not want his child to be happy. What would you think of any father? I mean, if, if you just, if you heard somebody talk about, you know, the thing about my dad is he never wanted us to be happy. Whoa. Uh, would you want to have been a member of that family? Dad just wanted us to be holy, but not happy. He wanted us to do the right thing, but he didn't want us to be happy. Um, we've, we've taken uh, an idea where we have contrasted joy and happiness, which are true synonyms historically, and we've set them in contrast to each other.